structured programming. Whenever we develop a software and then we, we go on adding multiple different codes with the respective coding process. So, whenever the code size will be too huge and if the respective developer or the coder, if they are not in a state to locate that which code has been written where and what is the purpose of different codes written in different sections, then that will create a mess. So, that is why we require a structured programming to get implemented. So, in the process of coding, the lines of code keep multiplying thus the size of the software increases and gradually it becomes next to impossible to remember the flow of the program. If one forgets how the software and its underlying programs, the respective files and procedures are constructed, it then becomes very difficult to share the debug and modify the program whenever some changes will come. And the solution to this is the structured programming. And it encourages developers to use subroutines, loops instead of using simple jumps in the code, thereby bringing clarity in the code and improving its efficiency. Structured programming also helps programmer to reduce coding time and organize the code in a very perfect way, in a very proper way so that the program can be written in a very modular way in some different approaches. So, what are the different approaches which will be taken? while making a program written in some structured way. So, let us go on discussing on those on that topic. So, here we are having mainly three different components are there. So, structured programming states how the program shall be coded and it uses three main concepts. So, first one is the top down analysis, next one is the modular programming and last one is the structured coding. So, let me discuss one by one. At first, we are discussing top down analysis. A software is always made to perform some rational work. So, in case of top down analysis, we know that always a software is always try to perform some rational work and basically in our top down analysis, the problem is broken down into small pieces where each one has some significance and each problem is individually solved solved and steps are clearly stated about how to solve the problem and that is known as top down analysis. So, at first the problem will be solved and it will be broken down into several sub problems and individually all these problems will get solved and also some hierarchy may also get constructed in this process. Next one is about modular programming. So, while programming the code is broken down into smaller group of instructions and these groups are known as the modules. Sometimes we can also call it as sub programs or sub routines or procedures. Modular programming based on the understanding of top down analysis and it discourages jump using go to statements in the program which often makes the program flow non traceable. So, they are trying to avoid the jump statement that is the unconditional go to. Conditional go to will be always there, obviously that will decide the control flow, but unconditional go to should be avoided in case of modular programming. Jumps are prohibited and modular format is encouraged in the structured programming. So, here each and every program will be will be thought as collection of multiple different modules, where each and every module can be considered as a procedure or subroutine or say sub function and each and every module should perform some certain specific task. And in this way, in case of modular programming, we are going to define different modules and we shall decide that how these modules will get executed. Next one is about structured coding. So, in reference with top down analysis, the structured coding subdivides the modules into further smaller units of code in order of their execution. So, these modules will have this respective smaller unit of codes and structured programming uses control structure which controls the flow of the program whereas, structured coding uses the control structure to organize its instructions in a definable pattern. So, in case of in case of structured coding we are writing this code in each and every module in a very structured way and we are trying to get the idea that how the control will be flowing through the structure coding in each and every respective modules. 
So in this in this particular video, we have discussed this top down analysis. So let me go back once again. So this is our top down analysis. We have discussed on that, and then we have gone for the modular programming, and last one is the structure coding. So this is our structure programming discussion with certain more detailing and the classifications. Thanks for watching this video. Tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning.